Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a cheap versus expensive challenge. Today's is on chatterbaits. So this is just the normal chatterbait, just the original one. These are about six, six or seven dollars. And then this is the Z-Man Jackhammer. This is 16 or 17 dollars. So in this video I'm going to talk about if it's worth to spend the 10 extra dollars or if it's worth to save your money if there's really that big of a difference. Taking a closer look at the original one, it is just has a little bit less detail. Other than that, they both seem super good quality. So before using them both, and seeing the differences, I don't really see what the point of spending the extra money is. So uh, I'm gonna go to a few lakes. So I'll see you guys there. We're here at the pond. I've got the normal chatterbait tied on and the the jackhammer tied on. So test them both out and see how they work. There's fish number one. That's on the normal shadow bait, not the uh, jackhammer. I lost one earlier on the jackhammer that felt like a pretty good fish, but it's one zero for the normal shadow bait, the cheap version. That's a big fish. It's huge. Okay, stop it. That's a five pounder. Jackhammer is winning after that. That is a giant. That's an easy four and a half low fives. I'm holding them here until my mom can get the scale. Uh, four and a half all day, probably. I'm up to my almost knees in the water with this fish, so it lives while I'm waiting for the scale. She's tried to kick to get away about eight times now. Four point two one. There's the jackhammer fish. There she goes. It is the next day and I'm at a different pond. Uh, I've still got the jackhammer and the normal chatterbait tied on. The jackhammer is currently winning with the four pounder and I caught one fish on the normal one. So we'll see how they work today. The plan is probably gonna be once I catch a fish on one, I'll change lures. And that is the second I hit the water, I've got one on the jackhammer. Oh, he spit it. So once I actually catch one on the jackhammer, I'll change to the normal chatterbait and then back and forth. And the biggest fish after will win. Oh, <laughs> same spot. I just lost that one. That's a good fish. There we go. I'm literally doing the intro. I just two casts in a row I caught I had a fish on. That is first fish with a jackhammer. This pond is literally like 
it's a chatterbait we'll catch you'll catch a hundred fish here so hopefully it's one of those days that's probably a two pounder it's a nice fish so now i'll change to the normal z-man chatterbait and use it until i catch a fish too another nice fish a little bit smaller but that's fish number one for today on the normal z-man chatterbait not the jackhammer and it just fell out fat little guy pound and a half probably just across from where i caught the other one not even 10 minutes later not a bad one they're super fat in here There's one. It feels like a good one. Yeah, eh, not terrible. That fish finally came back. He hit it a minute ago. Get him here. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's another two, two and a half probably. On the jackhammer. Probably a two pounder. Not a bad fish. There we go. There's that fish that hit two or three times in a row. Finally got it after he took one of the pinchers. Littlest one so far, but not sure if the uh, normal chatterbait's gonna be able to come back from that giant that the jackhammer caught. I ended up catching like four, I think I caught four fish here today on two on each and the jackhammer caught bigger fish in this video by far with the four pounder but the normal one caught a, caught like one or two more but in my opinion if you're on a budget there's no point in spending the extra ten dollars on a jackhammer whenever there's not that big of a difference the action's pretty similar the jackhammer just looks better honestly but other than that there's not a massive difference, so let me know if you want to see more expensive or cheap videos. Thanks for watching.